Hey everyone, good morning, it's Biggs. I'm coming to you right now from the Canadian Pet Expo. Today's the first annual, it starts today at 10 a.m. and it is the first Canadian Aquatic Expo. I've been truly blessed, I'm the host for this event, but I thought today, let's go and take a peek at the full, first time ever, Canadian Aquascaping Contest. Now this event, is, as I say, is the first time it's coming on board. It was, took a lot of planning to get it on board, but we also have a legend in himself, Mr. George Farmer, coming from the UK, and he's kind of gonna be our main guy. George is actually gonna be putting on two aquascapes himself, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Obviously, you won't be seeing this until much later, but uh, the tanks all that you see all behind me, these are all the, uh, all the contestant aquascaping tanks, and they go all the way down there to the end of that wall. Okay, every entrance is going to be offered the same equipment, so it's going to be balanced right across the board. Everyone's given the same stuff. They had two options. They could use all the equipment and everything that is provided, no charge for no charge to enter the contest this year, This is the first time. Or they could choose to pay a $50 one-time donation, and it goes to supporting uh, one of the coral reef funds, one of the organizers, one of the individuals that's here as well. Uh, so it's a nice gesture for cons conservation, but that those individuals, if they chose to, to pay that $50, they could bring everything they wanted from home. So they're allowed to bring sand and different plants and different uh, hardscape materials, whatever they want. But you see, everybody's going to be using the same tanks, the R RSR Aquaristic Rimless Aquariums. They're all made out of low iron gas, they're glass, they're absolutely stunning aquariums. They've all got buckets, they've all got lights two different types of fluval stratum, a, a thicker one and a finer one. They've got all their aquascaping tools, they've got some chemicals, they've got their lights. And in the buckets, they've also got a colander and a spray bottle. So everybody's on the same playing field, all with the exact same size tanks. I think it's gonna be super exciting. Now behind the scenes, this is where the magic's gonna be happening. As you can see, we've offered all sorts of different types of hardscapes. We've got some dragon stone, elephant stone, uh, Sirius stones, some different types of pebbles. We've got a, a wide assortment of different types of woods for them to choose from. Well, everything you're going to want to do. And then it comes to the plants. All the plants in all these aquariums for this aquascaping contest were all generously donated by Tropica. It's one of the leaders in aquatic, uh, aquatic plants. Absolutely stunning. Some gorgeous Pagestamon helferi. And then we've also got an assortment of different types of tissue culture. We've got uh, some Iliacaris, some Anthanothera renickii. We've got a couple of different types of mosses. So overall, we've got some exceptional stuff. Some Anubias nana petite, some different Bucephalandras, all sorts of stuff. So I think it's going to be a pretty exciting scape off. The entire event is sponsored by Fluval, as you can see by their, their, their signage everywhere. Uh, and that's a very, very incredibly generous donation. Now this tank here and the one on the other side, those are the two tanks that George Farmer will be aquascaping over the weekend, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. To spread the word of aquascaping to the world, because there's so many people out there that have no idea what aquascaping is. And I know some of you are beginners, some of you, this is your first contest, and you're probably really nervous, and you, you know, your mind's going at a million miles an hour, what, what materials can I use? But just try to slow it down, enjoy the process, ask, ask people for your help. You know, I want everyone to be working together, not against the each other. And you know? and if we can get that real positive vibe running throughout the contest, you know, the audience, the people that are here, you know, to experience aquascaping, you are like mini ambassadors. You know what I mean? That's how I see you guys. You are here to spread the lovely world of aquascaping. You're, you're going to blow people's minds. Some... Look at the mad dash for the aquascaping stuff. This, this guy's serious. He's going fast. <laughs> decidedly less violent than I expected it to be. I have not seen a single, they're all being rather civil. 
Yeah, there's no shoving, there's no elbows yet, nothing. I think we solved our plant problem. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're all gone. <laughs> Are there any boots anywhere? No. Ah, no, Top tip, just because you can use them doesn't mean you have to use them. Sometimes that's it more. <laughs> All right, let's go take a peek, see what everybody's up to. Alex is here, he's, he's using saws and he's cutting it up to get his vision in there. He's got some styrofoam going in there. That's a neat idea. Hello. Rose is having fun there. <laughs> She's got her rocks all picked. Some neat concepts everybody's putting together. Oh, look what she's doing there. Oh, trying not Sean to make is doing stupid. something neat. I like the textures on those rocks. Isn't it? Look at yeah. this. Look at I like this. that top one with all the, the texture and stuff on it. Yeah, that and weathered that look. That little cave. Yeah, that's looking sharp. This guy looks like he's just coming. You just showed up. You know, he's all behind. <laughs> <laughs> He's a thinker. I'm just happy to be here. This guy's probably got to go to work at one already. He's almost done. <laughs> guys are taking it serious. They got all sorts of materials. See, this is the smart guy. He, he took Dragonstone, which is a clay-based product, so it's a, it's a lot easier to work with. and He can make it any size he wants. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's making one hell of a mess. <laughs> mess in scapes. <laughs> oh, it's looking good. Fierce competition going down at the aquascaping contest. These guys are only about an hour in. And they've all got their vision. And everybody except for this guy had to rely entirely on whatever was in the back room. This guy, he paid a, a certain entrance fee, which is a full donation to, uh, to a fund for conservation of reef fishes, and he was able to bring whatever he wanted. So he's been working at home. It's looking real sharp, man. Thank you. Can't wait to see the end result. Look at this guy. He's just got it going on. These guys are getting all their tanks just dialed in. I've seen the different techniques that the people are using. Oh, Guys, slime? somebody's clearly working on their aquascaping here and they're using towels and, and cardboard and stuff just to kind of lay out all their hardscape to get their, their vision the way they want it to be before they go and make their final setup. Nancy's a local. She's uh, the president of KOAC. And look at her going to town with all her fancy rocks and sticks. Rocks and sticks, that's what it is. to go in a forest for 20 minutes you know and in my mind we can get that to an even greater extent with a beautiful part of barium a beautiful aquascape because uh, not only are you just experiencing the nature as you would do in a forest but you're deep even more in my mind you're even more deeply connected to that thing because you've created it you put your energy your time your money which is effectively the energy and time just in a different currency right
Thank you.